let's go ahead and we have a gallery up, but let's take a look at what iBooks looks like. Now, if you've used the iPad, uh, you're familiar with the iBooks application. If you haven't, uh, they've done a really, really nice job of kind of bringing that uh, iPad app down to the smaller size. So the store is very nice and it's very easy to, to navigate just kind of like any of the other, um, you know, the, the app store, the iTunes store. You can kind of scroll through things. You can find books to read. You can look up your past purchases and see, hey, you know, I want to re-download these. Like these are some of my free Gutenberg books that I haven't downloaded. And if you want to go to your library, you know, just go to your library and like, for instance, I've got my, my uh, Winnie the Pooh and I've got some trash, uh, not trash, a business book. And then uh, a book about a washed up uh, former child actress because I really love to read trash novels. Love it. So for instance, you know, this book I want to go ahead and read about Jody Sweden's Fall from Grace. Um, and you see, you know, how the, the text is really well formatted. It's a really attractive layout. I have to say, I think that, you know, it's really readable. Um, the transitions are really nice. You can basically go straight back to the library. I really like the feature, for instance, I can go straight to the table of contents and that's really well formatted. I can go to my bookmarks that I might have had on any other device. Um, and I don't, uh, here will actually, it shows you know, adding a bookmark, adding highlights. Um, I can resume reading. You can do a full text search throughout the book, which is really, really nice. And you can also highlight phrases. You can change the brightness. You can change the font and put a sepia background on if that makes it easier for you to read. So um, I think they've done a really nice job with the iBooks app. Uh, this is um, what it looks like if you're just reading it in landscape mode. Um, they don't have the two-page approach like they do on the iPad. Uh, but I think that when you're looking at it in portrait mode, they've done a really, really nice job of uh, presenting text. And just to kind of give you, you know, you can see what text looks like here, just to kind of give you um, a comparison, I'm going to go to my Kindle app where I have tons and tons of books and kind of show you the difference. Um, and I think that the Kindle app for iPhone is actually really great, honestly. Um, however, uh, it's not quite, the text is it's just not quite as tight. I mean, it still looks great, but it's just not quite as, uh, as beautiful as it is on the iPhone. So the iBooks app, I think they've done a really nice job with.